Welcome to Café Del Mar. I'm Jordan Finlayson and we're joined by a very special guest, the one, the only, Chicane. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. I've got some sleep. So I'm good. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you. We are thrilled to see that you're finally back in Australia mm. um, and we're very excited to have you here. Um, are you excited for the massive tour? I am. I'm slightly broken, but I'm good. Uh, I sort of managed to have gone around the world twice in the last month. Oh, uh, wow. Living the life. Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, uh, just um, sleep is a premium on this sort of thing. Okay. Well, look, if you want to swap lives at any time, just let me okay. know. Okay. Um, what do you love most about Australia? Ah, now, um, great, great seafood, but actually... Um, it's a very up crowd here, you know. Yes. I mean, obviously, you know, I go around the world, and I find that um, there's little, there's, there's not not a, not a dowdy place, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always a good, it's a really good vibe when I come here. Awesome. Uh, the last time I was here, I was with the band, uh -huh. and I think we did some festivals. Uh, so I'm just just I'm jockeying this, on this tour. So yeah, it's 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 good fun. It's good fun. Now you played in Cafe Del Mar in early 2000 mm. with your track Offshore. Tell us what that was like. Well, um, that record is kind of uh, that record is, is about kind of uh, being on the beach. Being the, uh, it was written about being the last kid on the beach because that that was me. Okay. As, as a child, my sun went down. You're yeah, still well, there. My, my parents were school teachers, and I had really long summer holidays. Okay. And I was always the last kid on the beach. Everyone gone home. Oh, really? Uh, they it, just didn't want to come and get you? Or? Well, no, it was no. just like kind of. But that it's a very it's a very uh, moody. Uh, by the sea kind of record, uh, you know. Amazing. Uh, so um, it's very synonymous with uh, Café Del Mar and um, yeah, uh, uh, you know. Uh, by the water. By the water. By the sea. Um, and my sound, you know, has been described as being very Balearic and you know, yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, it's always special pl playing something like that, you know. Um, what's your favourite club in Ibiza? Ah. Uh, and when was the last time you played there? Favourite club in Ibiza, now that's a difficult one. Probably Pasha, probably. Yes, that's what uh, I was going to say. Probably Pasha, although you need a small mortgage to buy a shandy in there. Of course. <laughs> uh, or just, you know, 50 euros for a beer. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, it, yeah, it's probably, it's probably still, uh, for me, the the very best club I of can course. think of. I think so, yeah. Now, when you visit Ibiza, what is your number one thing you must do? Yeah, my favourite <laughs> place in Ibiza uh, has to be uh, Dos Lunos, which okay. is, uh, it's the restaurant Kind of just outside Amnesia, and it's an it's, it's an okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's an amazing Italian, and uh, I'm always going in there, and I completely mess up and overeat, and realise I got to go and do a gig and feel okay. feel horrendous. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a must. What else is coming up for you production-wise? What uh, can we look forward to? I'm three or four tracks into the, into the next album already. Um, Come on, give us more. Give us more. Um, I'm um, I'm actually signing some records as well, which is kind of interesting because. Uh -huh. um, Modena and Enzo, which are my record companies, were predominantly like a kind of just just for me. So we started signing some stuff and producing some stuff for other people. Yep. Um, and I am like ridiculously busy with the Sunsets project, which is actually based on a Cafe Del Mar I beat the sunset. Ooh. So uh, uh, it's the radio show. It, it starts beautiful and slow. Uh -huh get to mid-tempo, we have a sunset moment, and then off we go. And so that's become a really big thing for me. Yeah. So um, it's kind of exciting. Can your fans expect from all your sets the songs that you are playing in your new 20 album? Uh, songs in the new current sets are, yeah, I mean, the sun, uh, the 20 album was kind of like one foot in the past, one foot in the future. So uh -huh. we, we have the original stuff, and then we, we gave the original stuff to remix to all the current guys. Uh, and yeah, so I'm playing, playing a lot of that, and actually it's been been pretty cool. Uh, I, pl I played a few of those last night. <laughs> you have been in the industry for a long time. What's the secret to staying in the industry and being so successful? The secret? If I told you the secret, it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> and um, then I might be a DJ. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I think what I tend to do is, you know, um, the chicane thing is like a... Uh, it's not so much bound by genre, it's more like an approach to melody and, and, and atmos atmosphere. So what I tend to do is that you keep, you, you keep your core kind of idea mm -hmm. and you dip your toe into what's going on. So mm -hmm. if we're housier in the minute, so we'll use more housey grooves, but the actual music and melody are still very chicane So that's kind of how you keep it fresh and, and, and longevity. Of course. 
What has been the most life-changing moment in your career? Most life-changing moment was a bit dull actually. Um, is uh, my first ever record, uh, and I can remember I was working in a crappy graphic design place, and, uh -huh. I, and I said to my mother and father, "Look, can you support me for like three months? I really want to go at this music business thing." I released my first record and it went top 40 in the UK Aww. and uh, it's been my proudest moment because it's that moment where you, you, I could prove to everyone that it can be done because you don't go to your careers, career guy at school and go oh I want to be a pop star please help me <laughs> yeah you know, uh, it doesn't happen you know no. it's, it's difficult so that's my kind of favorite memory really. thanks mum yeah thanks mum <laughs> <laughs> now how have you watched the club and dance music industry evolve over the last 20 years um, God, it's going through so many changes. I mean, it's like anything, you know, uh, uh, club culture goes up goes up and down. Uh, I can remember we had this huge boom mm -hmm. in, in the 90s. Uh, we had so many clubs in, in, in the UK, you know, Gatecrasher and all those kind of clubs. And then that disappeared. Uh, and, then, and then it's come crazy back. The Americans discovered EDM. Of course. Of course. Well, I don't know why we had to call it that, but um, <laughs> and uh, I guess Dance music, club music is, is, is pop music now mm -hmm. as well. It's kind of, it's really, it's, it's what's on the radio, you yeah. know. Now, if you could collab with anybody, who would it be? Um, uh, personal favourite for a collaboration would be um, not really a, a anyone particularly like an artist. I want to, I'd like to collaborate with um, Brian Eno uh, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, Trevor Horn, uh, one, of the, one of those kind of people, uh, writers and stuff, that, that's kind of, was kind of what I, I, I have my, on my wish list, bucket list, shall we say? Yeah, that would be cool. Now, how do you think your sound has evolved over the years? Uh, crikey, uh, how's the sound evolved over the years? Um, it's still the same. Yeah. Actually, you kept your core. It, it's still the same, but I, I, I kind of. Uh, I, I work in a slightly different way. I, uh -huh. I actually do a lot of writing. It sounds a bit nuts, this, but I do a lot of writing in my head. Okay. Uh, and I, I kind of, whereas before I used to go in the studio and we'd mess about uh -huh. and by experimentation, something would come 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 out. But I tend to think music now. I know that sounds odd. <laughs> now, what else have you been doing over your European summer? Oh, what have I been doing? I've been uh, moving house, building studio, new studio. Uh, uh, just putting so much things together. Uh, the Sunset Project's really big. We're doing, uh -huh. a, we're doing a Sunset's compilation album that's coming up. And uh, we did a very special one-off show in London with the, with the band. Now, last time I was here, I was with the band. Now, um, I think people could be a bit confused as to actually what Chicane is. I mean, Chicane is me, but of course. I DJ, but I also have my band. So we did a huge concert in a, in a place called Coco in, mm -hmm. in London. Um, and that was an that was amazing, amazing show. Even though I say so myself. What made you want to be a DJ? Well, I actually spent the first part of my career hating DJs. Actually. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> Is that because you hated any of the piano no, and everything uh, no, else? No, I just, I, 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 I'm, I was, you know, I'm predominantly a, a writer, producer, and yeah. uh, these, we had a strange thing in the early part of, of, of dance culture where a, a DJ would get paid more for playing the record than the guy would make it. get to make it. Yeah. It's a bit like the tail, That's not okay. the, we call that the tail wagging the dog. Mm -hmm. uh, and that kind of used to frustrate me a little bit. Uh, and you were like, I can do all of this. Yeah, Christ, uh, if you can't beat them, join, join them. <laughs> I like that, I live by that. <laughs> Um, so what are you working on at the moment? What am I working on at the moment? I am working on uh, a couple of projects which I'm signing to the label, uh -huh. uh, which I'm remixing and working. I, basically, I'm in the studio all the time. I, I'm never not. So in the week, I'm in the studio. Weekend, I'm on the road. Uh, so it's, it's happening all the time. Uh, yeah, new artist album, Sunset's album, radio show. Um, we're trying to put together a very special one-off show next year, which will be the, the, the band show, mm -hmm. but we're doing it with an orchestra. So I'm working. Ooh. So I'm working with a guy, and we're scoring that everything would be amazing. up. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. And where's that going to be? Uh, somewhere we haven't decided yet. Okay. Um, it's prohibitively expensive to put together. Of course. So we're we're trying to work out the funding for those kind of things and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of cool. It's, it's a bit like um, Pete Tong did a thing called um, I Beat with the Proms uh, okay, thing, thing yeah. last year, and it's a similar kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Cool, so what's on the agenda now for the rest of 2016 and coming into 2017? Wow. Um, some sleep, 
Yep. Uh, some snowboarding. Um, I think I get back. I, Do you get, get a holiday? Like, is this a little holiday I Christmas a ho season? I, no, I, you've never. I, had I haven't, had, haven't had actually a holiday in eight years. Eight. <laughs> yes. Wow. But that's kind of. I spend my life getting on a plane exactly. and going somewhere. The last thing Your I want to holiday. Last yeah, thing I want to do is, is is get on a plane and go somewhere. Of you know, course, uh, yeah. I suppose just just chill at home and stuff. You know. Yeah, cool. Um, what's your proudest moment in your career? Um, it was pretty special to get uh, to have a UK number one. I think that was pretty magical. Um, a bit weird actually. Uh, <sighs> I, I just the whole thing is still a big journey for me, and, I, and you know I, I'm not where where I want to be yet. I'm, there's lots of things I want to do, and, and you know so uh, <coughs> I'm just lucky. I think I'm, I'm I think I find myself fortunate to be to be doing this and something I enjoy and love doing. You know, there's a lot of people who have a, a job they don't like doing. Mm -hmm. You know, so I I, I I feel a bit blessed. You of know. course. Yeah. Uh, what's the best gig you've ever played? Cafe Del Mar. Of course. Good answer. The right answer. Yes, we love you. Okay, lastly, yes. this is my little thing. Yeah, blondes or brunettes? Okay. Oh, uh, ah, queen. Ah, ah, uh, blondes. Blondes. Good boy. It's because I'm sitting here, isn't I it? Could have got that wrong, man. Could have got that wrong. House or techno? House. Uh, of course. And Ibiza or UK? Oh, Ibiza. Yes, good boy. You got them all correct. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us at Cafe Del Mar, and we're very excited for tonight. Thank you for having. Awesome, we'll see you soon. Thank you.